Hey, Motorman here. In this video today, the reason I did this video is because I wanted you to see that this is 90% mental, 10% physical. That is knowing the proper techniques. Now, the young lady in this video, Megan from Meg's Motorcycle Journey on YouTube, she came down here about a year, year and a half ago, and she did fantastic. She outrode everybody in the class, and that was on a bike that wasn't even hers. It was my Road King. But she came down, admitted she hadn't been practicing because her low rider didn't have crash bars and she was afraid to practice. But now she's got the crash bars on. I had about just a little over an hour to spend with her and do some training. And I want to show you exactly how she did. Of course, she was rusty to start with, but she picked it up right away. The reason I say 90% mental, 10% physical is because that's all it is. If in your mind you can't do this, if you're really afraid of your motorcycle, it's going to take you longer. This young lady picked it up right away. With that said, before we go any further, I want to show you we have a special deal for you. This is my Ride Like a Pro book. You're probably familiar with this. We've been selling it for about five years. Initially, these were all printed with color pictures, such as this. It's about 150 pictures in the book. But we were having to charge $32, and people complained about it, so we went to black and white. But just the other day, we were looking through our archives. We went through the place where we store all our videos and books, and we happen to find a couple of boxes of the original color ones. But we're not going to charge you 32 bucks for them, $20, the same price as the black and white. You go on the website and order my book, you will be getting the color version until we run out. A couple of boxes, I don't know how long that's going to be, not very long, and if it's freezing cold where you're at, it's a good time to sit down with a good book, and I guarantee you'll be at the edge of your seat, you won't be able to put it down. So just 20 bucks. Okay, let's get on with the video. All right, I'm here with Megan from Hi. Meg's Motorcycle Journey, right? That's what you call it? Yep, Meg's Motorcycle Journey. Now, now you were here how long ago? About a year and a month. Okay, a year. And Jerry's graciously having me back, even though I didn't practice as much as I should have. All right, so she was here a year and a month, and we had her, I think, just for an hour and a half one day, and I put her on uh, first the Sportster, yeah. then she went to the electric light, ran through the intersection, did really good, then came back the next day to a regular class, Unfortunately, it got rained out halfway through the class, but she was literally riding circles around the guys in the class who've been riding for many years, and that's because she has a very low fear level. She's not afraid, and she takes direction very well. But since she hasn't practiced, and she was doing that on a Road King last year, she's going to be on her low rider, which I think is, is a little bit harder motorcycle to ride than the touring bikes because of, generally of the riding position. So I've got not many cones here, but I, I set up uh, an intersection. I'm gonna get her right from the first time she goes through. Remember, three techniques, head knives, fricks his own, a little bit of pressure on the rear brake. It's not brain surgery. This is raw, raw footage, folks. This is exactly how it's happened. Let's see if she remembers, because we know she hadn't been practicing hardly at all. I see it flicking on and off. That yeah. means she's not on it steady. She's trying. Keep your head and eyes up. Where's she going? She left town. She's she's gonna ride a different course. This is this is America. She says I ride where I want to ride. I don't have to follow your little course. Too slow. So I feel like at least now I know that I can do it. I just need to pick up the speed. Yes, pick up the speed. Just get much more aggressive. Get aggressive like you were last year on my bike. Yeah, you told me I could drop your bike yeah. there. Yeah, well, you could drop this one now. We know that. The, the, those are Bunk King, right? Yes. Ride it like you rented it. There you go. Ride it like you rented it. Megan, is there, is there anything on the ground that you want to see? Why would you look at there, it then? I'm just looking down the whole did, time. Did you want to hit those cones over there on the opposite side? Because that would be a curve on the street. Did you want to hit those? No. Then why would you look at them? Good, good call. Head and eyes up. Head and eyes up. Look right. only where you want the bike to go. So you know where you should be making that turn over there, right? Yeah. So you look there and you get your head around really quick so that you feel that bike transition quick. So am I turning but I'm just down or I'm not turning? Yeah, your quickly. head is down. You're, you're not turning your head fast enough. Okay. It's like this. Yeah, look straight. Okay. Okay, turn. That's it. 
and only with your head and eyes. The reason we say head and eyes because if your eyes are still over there, what your head is turning is not, not going to work. Go. Got it. I forgot to tell her about the dip. Or at least she got her head around that time. That's a short leg there. couple of times in this you were going straight we have to think of this as there's no straight part to it's it always an if you're, or you're turning in one direction or another so from curve. this point you're bringing the bike out and as soon as the bike starts to go out to the left you're looking for that right. spot you want to put your front tire got it same thing for every one of them it's always turning in one direction in other words you're not following the outline because you fight the bike if you're doing that right so you want to bring it out curve and, and, uh, i think it. this one over here you did well but I think it was purely dumb luck. <laughs> but it's think awesome. of it this way, that you never want to go straight. You should always be turning in one direction or another. And that leg straight up there, that's the shortest one, so that better be the fastest head turn. Okay. I did better with my head up a little bit. Yes, yes you did better with that. Right. Not worth bragging about, but better. <laughs> Turn that head, no straight part to a circle. All right, first you're gonna get used to it. You're gonna cruise around a little bit, make some bigger turns and then some little smaller turns and then go into the intersection. All right. Techniques are the same on all motorcycles, head and eyes, friction zone, a little bit of pressure on the rear brake. The extra weight of this motorcycle means absolutely nothing because the weight is on the tires. The bike doesn't care how heavy it is and obviously neither does Meg. In my class I would have that leg another 10 feet longer really to make it easier for the riders she's not having a problem with it because she doesn't know any better yeah. cruise around a little bit cruise is right around so because she has such a low fear level it, this comes back to her despite the fact that she spent little to no time practicing, it comes right back to her because she's not afraid. The higher your fear level, the, wrong, the longer it takes to get these techniques down. So we got her back on her own bike because that's the bike she rides. And it's always best to practice on the one that you could be on the most. Because of the riding position on that bike, it's a little more difficult in reality than the Road King or Electric Glide. I guarantee the next time we see Meg on that bike, since she now has the crash bar, she'll be practicing and she will be so smooth, it'll be astounding. But remember, it's head and eyes, friction zone, little pressure on the rear brake. And don't be timid. Get aggressive when you're practicing. Don't be aggressive on the road. Get aggressive when you're practicing.